Hello, happy Friday. Welcome to Frequency and Flow Friday. This space is dedicated to helping you raise your frequency so you can live in optimal flow and alignment. And I'm going to go ahead and shuffle. I want you to think back on last week. You would have had the new moon to set new intentions. I know I did. I launched a retreat for April 2025. I'll tell you more about that in a minute. And now coming this next weekend, we have a first quarter moon, which is about action. So think about last week, the intentions you set. This past week, the energies would have been building. And now we're first quarter moon this week, which is taking action. So what action can you take? And then you can choose position one, two. Or three. I know we are taking big action over here around launching the Chi Alchemy Retreat in April of 2025. It went out to members first. And if you are interested in joining Chi Alchemy, you can check out the page that is linked here. You can also reach out. We are doing a special early bird discount. So if you are interested in that, then reach out. Say hello. Let's talk about it and let's get you there. It's going to be an amazing retreat. Space is limited. Beds are selling. And I couldn't be more delighted. If you're choosing position number one, how can you raise your frequency in taking action? The card you get is helpful people and travel. Interesting. There's a very travel-oriented energy with this. Um, I kept like, it's like that um, kind of six of air tarot energy that I keep like feeling into here, which is, travel it's moving things through and then this is the helpful people in travel card so if you want to travel this is a good weekend to take action around travel maybe book travel maybe reach out to friends to travel with or groups of people to travel with but start to think about um you know the people in your life um that you want to travel with that you want to help that you want to connect with in community if you're choosing this position be very thankful for the people in your life give gratitude give appreciation take some action around that send thank you notes but if you're choosing this position raise your frequency by appreciating what you have thinking about where you want to go maybe you want to do a travel wish list or something but helpful people and travel i would also take action by when you walk in through your front door to the immediate right is this area, travel and helpful people, sector six in the Bagua map. Clean it up, add some white, some cream, some metals, some earth colors, some crystals, and give it a little love. Great spot for an ancestor out there. If you're choosing position two, oh my goodness, this one just fell out of the deck. So if you're choosing position two, the stove card fell out of the deck. So I would think that this is about um, creating something new and um, taking action to create something new, but also make sure that you do have a very joyful and playful and light approach to that um, if you're choosing this position. But that was only because that card fell out. The card I'm choosing on the top is intention. So I want you to think back to last Monday and think about the intention that you, or Monday, last Friday, and think about the intention that you would have set. What was it that you were um, you know, really leaning into in terms of what you were intending with the new moon in cancer, new emotions and things like that. Um, I will say that this first quarter moon, it's a first quarter moon in Libra. So it's a really good time to make a decision. If you choose position one, I would say decision, make a decision because helpful people in travel can be focused on that. Position two, I would think that this is more about setting intentions in terms of personal growth, social network, um, you know, maybe relationships, bringing things into balance, um, and just really getting clear on what you want and what you're wanting to create and taking some sort of action around that in a very joyful state. So what brings you delight? And I would say maybe do something creative this weekend. Finally, if you're choosing position number three, three is the number of joy. I'm actually shuffling three times and then I'm going to go to the middle of the deck. I am, if you are choosing position three, I think that it is a really wonderful weekend to journal, identify areas that need balance with the Libra in order for you to bring your I am to life. Um, you know, think about like living the highest frequency life. What does that feel like? Meditate with that. Focus on balance. Focus on harmony. Um, use your affirmations. Maybe use some crystals. Maybe bring in some rose quartz or amethyst for love and peace. Um, but but with the I am card, I think it's really important to focus on strengthening bonds, taking actions around bonds, resolving conflicts, and doing that with yourself. Because the I am card is all about being created from the greatest blueprint that you can ever imagine. And so what can you do to 
activate that um, and really live in that. And so for an action step, also aside from the crystal work and things like that, consider feng shui and um, implementing your own blueprint into feng shui. Does your space reflect um, what's happening, right? Because our internal space, our internal spaces <laughs> say a lot about what's going on outside and vice versa. So can they reflect one another? I'm sending you love, love, love. If you're interested in Chi Alchemy, the beds are going quick, reach out. I'm sending you an abundance of actionable energy for this first quarter month. Bye, ciao, ciao.